Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands with Tracks 2. And so, in our last episode, we made this, the uh, Project Nevada's awesome homemade rifle. It's a 9mm, there's no stock on it, so it's kind of terrible at actually staying on target, but it will give us a little something to defend ourselves with as we head south on a quest for, yet another quest for the ever delightful Moira Brown. I think, that, I think Brown's her last name. Uh, so basically what we're doing is headed to, we are headed to uh, Robco. The Robco thingy. Um, Robco facility to install a processing rig. Try the brass lantern. Oh, it's a beggar. Okay. The processor widget. Which uh, is supposed to give us control over all of the robots in the facility. As you might expect, this is. Oh, for. Ooh. Okay. This is not a bad gun. And this is considering that we have, uh, where is it, uh, skills, yeah, we have a guns of 20 versus our 65 energy weapon. Oh, uh, that's right, energy weapon is getting a boost because we are wearing our awesome new shady hat, which I didn't, didn't actually show off. It's, she says it's, uh, camouflaged, but it's not exactly the world's best camouflage. She also said that uh, reinforced, but it doesn't have any, it has neither damage resistance nor damage threshold, so. Uh, on the other hand, I, I really like the way that they went when they put the gun together. Uh, yeah, no thank you. We actually have quite a lot of survival skill, and so it's now reducing our strength by two. I should have had some food before we left. We got it. Now that's it. Now that is an excellent, excellent sign because it means that we will momentarily have some more ammunition for our signature weapon. Like I said, I, I really feel bad that I'm using my signature weapon so little, and the fact that I'm an energy weapon user and now I'm consigned to using guns. I, now I know there's some big nasty, a uh, big group, of, big nasty group of foemen over there. Ooh, fission battery. Now fission battery doesn't seem really useful now, and it really isn't. But yeah, there's a there's an armory over that way, and I do I do remember that much. But we'll we'll come back there later. Oops, come back to there later because it's a very useful armory. But we can't actually get to the good stuff right now, and we probably die of radiation poisoning. Uh. Alright, I just want to look, be real, look really carefully. Hello, there's a truck there. Now that's an army truck. Uh, we're actually going a little too far off, off this way. Hello. Aha, you are a hostile. Mr. Gutsies are. Whoa. Very tough. Alright, come here. Yeah, just float on out here. There we got it. That was kind of a loud noise. Uh, the other... Now, the upside to Mr. Gutsies is that, like all the other robots, they have lots of energy cells on them. Ooh, and flamer fuel. Which kind of makes me wish I'd brought... Did I bring my incinerator? I did not. Alright, well that's fine. It'll get used later. 10 millimeter pistol. A dead rad scar. Mr. Gutsy's a pretty... Ooh, assault rifle. Um, buckshot. Metal boxes with magnum rounds. Oh, I'll take the tin can even. Uh, right. Yeah. 
you'll find lots of these little checkpoints all over Fallout uh, Capital Wasteland. All right, jump up on the box. You're standing on the box. You can jump into the back of the truck. And there's absolutely nothing in here. Well, that was a waste of effort. Um. Hello. Oh, I see you there. Um. Here you go. Have explosive. I missed him. Good job. Oh, we've got strength-based throwing range on, and I have very low strength. I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Um. Right. I should probably, probably, I should probably try and be more careful with my explosives because they're kind of valuable. Because they're pretty valuable. Although, just at the moment. Ah, uh, hello. This is actually a perfect. Oh, headshot. For the given value of head, anyway. Uh, yeah, this seems to be a pretty perfect pathway. Um. If that's what I think it is, I want to hit it up on my way back. Because what I'm thinking that is, is Fort. Independence? No, that's not. Oh, what's the name of that place? It's not Fort Constantine, because that's at the other end of the map. It's basically home to the... Brotherhood of Steel Outcasts, who I don't believe we've met? But they're, they're a splinter faction of the Brotherhood of Steel who are already a splinter faction of the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, it's, it's a little confusing. I have to remember to... Oh, I have to remember to do that. I, you don't see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. But for right now, I'm just kind of talking to myself. Oh, mole rats and... Um... Float flies. I don't think there's anything over there that I want anything to do with. <laughs> nope. Okay, so we'll head a little over this way. There's actually two levels to here. To this place. There's the fort down here. It's, oh, the dog's there. And then a town up there. The town above is full of raiders. Lots of... Oh. What, what nasty thing wants me dead? Oh, it's a scorpion stuck in the ground. Fair enough. Yep, just stuck scorpion. We'll ignore that. I don't want to play with the scorpion right now. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think it's... Ah, it's managed to get itself unstuck. Fine. They do have a face. And it is a little more vulnerable than the rest of the scorpion. But not by a whole lot. <laughs> Admittedly, once I got up on there... Or I could have actually just waited and shot it in the face with my plasma shotgun. Because that's kind of stupidly effective. But, you know. Now, did I remember to bring the repellent stick? I did remember to bring the repellent stick. Okay, that's good. Funny thing about the repellent stick is that it... Almost as effective against non-mole rats as it is against mole rats. Something has me detected, but it's not trying to kill me, which is... Both a good and a bad sign. Okay, whatever it is is left. Nope, we're back again. Oop. Ah, uh, looks like something blew up an iBot. I don't know what, but I don't know what or potentially who, but that's all right. We'll just go ahead and head this. I'm getting a fair bit of Z fighting, which I don't ever recall seeing too much of in New Vegas. About the only Z, fi Z fighting I saw in New Vegas was um, as you're approaching Vegas itself. The walls tend to. Oh, are we going to be like that? Yeah, we're, okay. 
Oh good, another frickin'. Alright, come here, Scorpion. No, 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 come back here. Goodbye. Right. Now, where was I? Uh, no. That's what I wanted. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still a little bit sick. I was all weekend and, and all week, and now it seems to have been seems to have let up somewhat. But I'm still coughing a bit more than I prefer, and I think my voice is a lot rougher than I like. All right, that's our destination right there. Is that building? Uh, that building we'll go into maybe later. Uh, it's not dangerous, but it's unpleasant. I will have to go into the magic, the evil building. Well, you'll you, you see what I mean later, but it's one of those horrifyingly creepy locations. That uh... all right, let's get a little altitude to go with our attitude. Yeah, th there's lots of robots that wander back here, and I would like to shoot a few of them before we. get into range where they can shoot back. Yep, see? There you are. Hello, Mr. Robot. Please die. Thank you. I love the textures. Is there anybody else that wants to be shot in the face? Or face analog? No? Okay. Well, let's go this way. And we'll go straight towards that robot so I don't lose his <clears throat> lose his corpse. Oh, we're thirsty. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'm not terribly worried. Although, to be totally honest... Okay, hang on. I to, there we go. I had to tweak my mouse pad because it was in the wrong position. I love it when their heads pop off. It amuses me greatly. All right. So, a funny thing about Robco, about the Robco facility, is that there's only one way in and out. And hello. Oh, for pity's sake, go away. Yeah, I love that. Just one shot, pop the arm off. Um, I think it's using. No. Oh. Oh. oh, right, I have ammo for this. Ooh, gra glass bottles, because we'll need... Now, the... Alright, let me try that again. Now, the fun thing about the Robco building is there's only one way in and out. None of these other doors work. The only way into the building is through the front door. And, fortunately, I happen to know that... Oh, not That's not what I want to hit things with. That's what I want. That it's full of bugs and mole rats. Ooh, tin cans. But if I seem a little obsessed with tin cans, it's because they can be used to make steel, which can be make which can make better regular ammo, but can also be used to apparently cause the game to come to a complete halt. Uh, are you a traitor? You're Tinker Joe, who is a traitor and has ooh, you have scrap electronics and scrap metals. And I am not wearing the correct armor for this. Yes, I need to be wearing that and that. And he Hello, stranger. Oh, he's wearing. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. What are you selling? Robots, actually. I love the fact that he's actually wearing the headband flashlight. I don't think he can use it, but that's so cool. I don't never see that before. Various things. You never know what might come in handy. Indeed. All right, so... Yeah, scrap electronics, scrap metal... Uh, duct tape is all... Duct tape is so rare, rare that I will always take it. Uh, I'll even take your sensor module. What can I sell you that I don't need? Ah, here. Here's some pre-war money. There we go. A pleasure doing business with you. Yep. Whatever. You can actually... Buy one of the robots as Move a companion. Along, companion, it just requires um, a specific karma, I think. 
Uh, you don't want to watch for... Watch Tinker Joe because he occasionally seems to get injured and you won't understand why. Yeah, I know where you're at. We'll get to you in just a second. Uh, wrong button. One of these has something handy in it. Uh, is it this one? No. Oh, well, that's not quite what I meant. I think that guy stands up, though. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I should definitely be wearing my proper armor and my proper hat. Right. Um, uh, the sides are broken, which is... Ah, a Nucatron. Um, yeah, Nucatron, which is... Hi, suck repellent stick. And you too. Not as effective against red roaches, but... What can I say? Oh. Ah, this place is also a uh, big... A huge find for uh, pre-war books. And somebody got trapped under a bookshelf during the atomic... After the bombs fell. Uh... I mean... Aha! Magazine meeting people. Excellent. So let's go continue to thump the local wildlife. Very tough red roaches. Oh, I hit the robot. Sorry, robot. Yeah, a lot of good stuff in here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to come clean, uh, clean this place out before we leave. And by clean this place out, I mean take everything and slowly st stump my way back to Megaton. Uh, a stealth boy, which is nice. I'm looking to see... Ah! There are scrap electronics sp scattered around here. Excellent. Uh, scrap electronics are something that were not a uh, Fallout 3 thing. They were began exclusively in... Aha! Um, exclusively in Fallout New Vegas. Ah, we can have to squirrel on a stick. Crunchy new food. There we go. Uh, we're now very, 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 very thirsty. And I was hoping that they had gone in and scattered some of the scrap electronics. I don't think... That, oh, because it was crunchy mute fruit, not the other kind. Uh, there's two different kinds of mute fruit, and one of them at, uh, restores thirst, and the other one does not. And that was the one, and the crunchy one is the one that does <coughs> not. It's in here. More five million. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, they've gone and scattered. Uh, right. Where's the upstairs? Oh, we gotta go through the. F oh wait. Here's the other bathroom. I could have sworn one of these was a trapped toilet. Nope. It's not technically, you can drink from the toilets to regenerate uh, health. It's not really the best idea in the world. Aha. Yep. A uh, little bit of rad salt won't bother us. I do have Rataway on me, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Should have, couldn't mute it in time. And one more. There we go. 13 H2O was fine. We've taken a bit of rads, but that's alright. Let's see. I always forget that they only open one way. Come on, suck some... I love the fact that just this couple of light taps cause their heads to explode. Um, are we in? Yeah, we're in. Low light mode, that was not useful. And, ooh, microfusion cells, that's useful. Lots of microfusion cells. Wow, the world supply of microfusion cells here. 
bottle caps. Uh, there was one big reason I was saving Programmer's Digest, and this place is it. And we'll, we'll see why as soon as I find my frick. Ooh. Yeah, this place is an absolute gold mine. Uh, more energy cells. Where is the stairs up? Here, you can please die, thank you. Ah, you're stuck, which is hilarious. Um. No. You're a rad roach. Which is totally non-threatening. This is not Fallout 4. Aha! Big book of science. That's useful. That, that actually means that we could now make... We can now do something stupid and drop things. Oh, well, that was future weapons today, which is not exactly. Toolbox. Duct tape. Like I said, never leave duct tape behind. Railway spikes. No, thank you. Ah! Right, stop biting me. On the other hand, given that we are regenerating as long as we don't stay in combat for too long, we'll basically be fine. Yeah, that's how fast we're regenerating. Okay, and we're done. Uh, yeah, so... This is not exactly a... Right. Uh, tensor modules are a good source of scrap. Okay, electronic parts, because they break into a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to break down quite a bit of stuff as before we leave, because it'll be way less. But then hopefully there should be enough stuff here I can make the cell charger. And if we can, I'll just do, I'll do that before. Now, where the heck are the stairs up? Ah, here they are. Go this way, then upstairs. This place a little. I think I'm actually gonna let this one run a little. This episode will run long, simply because. Yeah. This is just a stick. That's why it takes so long to kill a rat. Much. If I were to switch to say the. Um, here. No. Let's. Here. Have some sword. Yeah. It one shots them. What's it? What's the damage difference? Alright, so, repellent stick, 2-4, right? Officer sword, 96-35. Is there a mole rat around anywhere? I know there's some in the next area. Mm. Nope, no mole rats here, fine. If we step through this door, we'll find some. Um, let's save the game here. Ah, sorry, itch. There we go. Alright, you go away. Yeah, instant gym. Alright. Right. Okay, it's flickering a bit more than I'd like to see. Mm. This is actually a double level area, so that's why all the. We switch to this it should flicker less I'm not quite sure why it's flickering I, I know it's one of the things that ooh, spoons the spoons can be broken down into metal into steel which again I'm slightly over obsessed with uh, don't be dirty water come on Okay, why are we being so slow? Alright. Okay, so I guess the repellent stick is unnecessary. The sword's good enough that we don't even need it. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and clear this place out.
Ah, bonus achievement. Challenge completed. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah. Uh, there we go. We'll just do this and... Clear, clear the building. And that way we don't have to worry about... Yeah, there aren't really that even that many bugs in here. I think I missed some on the ground floor, but it's alright. They were mostly rad roaches. Okay, who else wants a taste of my mighty sword of justice? Go away, rad roach. Yeah, we get one XP for rad roach. Come on. Don't be like that. Yep, we killed him through the gate. Now, is there anything useful in here? Oh, nope, sword blades. Uh, for a shish kebab. Which isn't actually a bad weapon, although... Uh, it does tend to tri trigger... Oh, I should have restarted this between episodes. Ooh, 44 Magnum. If only I had something that could shoot that. Excuse me. Um, right. Uh, die. Thank you. Okay, let's go kill these guys and then we'll go turn on the computer. Alright, yes, come here. Yeah, two shots the big one. One shots everything else. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Robot. Yeah, I... I'll let this episode run until I... No oh, future weapons today. Yeah, I've got the radio turned down in the settings, which I'm glad of. Uh, hello. Come have some sword. He's a big gentleman. I like the fact that it does show you the list of what counts for the a cha for the kill animals challenge <sighs> the inventory thing not so much but then again this happened in um, just plain vanilla fallout 3 as well so all right is that everybody now i think it is let's go through this door now this is a bit of an annoying room because if you don't have the ability to pre-war book, <laughs> sorry, um, don't have the ability to hack this terminal, which is average locked, then as soon as you activate, plug in the processor widget, all the robots turn on and start shooting you in the back. That's very easy. Fortunately, I do happen to have a magazine necessary to, okay, allow me to hack it, which means. That I can run up here, uh, install the processor widget, and then immediately hack the terminal because it doesn't take you straight into the hacking option. Warehouse, no. Uh, okay, one option out of warehouse is correct. Mountains matches absolutely nothing. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see. Oh, somewhere is... Okay, that's a little more helpful. Mm. Yeah, are there any... Okay, dud op dud option, dud option. Um, let's try secretive. Oh, well, cool. That's just gonna match it, because it matched the S and the E. Uh, cease total liquidation. Thank you very much. Uh... Oh, power supply orientation guide. Um, okay. Total liquidation removes your co-workers' humanoid safety protocols. It is for use only in the unlikely event of criminal intrusion or communist attack. C criminal intrusion. Kill everything. Um, okay. 
Robot shutdown allows you to temporarily retire your coworkers for their regular maintenance or in the case of accidental liquidation commands. We trust you'll find the work simple retard blah orientation guide. So let's try that. Oh, for pity's sake. Congratulations on your transfer to the position of robot protocol operator. Your trusted coworkers will be the standard protection model stationed th throughout the facility. Basic operation covers day-to-day -day op functionality of your coworkers, as described in the detail in your in detail in your training manual. This extermination encourages them to track and sanitize any roaches, rodents, and other undesired pests on the premises. And, okay, got it. So robot shutdown basically shuts, turns them off for you, which is kind of useful because you can turn them off and then. Uh, either smash them or do other things to them. There we go. And now they are not trying to kill me. Right? Right? You're not going to try and kill me? Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright. Move uh, along, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Hello? Go away. I've killed everybody, so just stay dead. Now, a locked personal footlocker that's average locked. Do I have a. No. Um, Lockpick is 41. Hmm. I'll have to come back, to, come back for this because I don't know what's in there. But yeah. Alright, um. Between this episode and next. Ooh, scrap electronics. Yeah, I'm going to basically completely strip this building of anything and everything that could possibly be of any. even the slightest bit of value. Move along, and please. Get ready to break it. Go away. Okay. Yeah. Get ready to break it down and take it back to. Megaton with me. But that, as I said, is for between episodes. So until then, this has been Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands with Triax 2. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.